Local Send. I'm Huey Poplock. There are many ways to copy a file from OneDrive to another. Mail it to yourself. Use Google Drive, OneDrive, and other cloud storage locations, or use an app like SimpleNote. Local Send is cross-platform, working on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and Chrome OS devices. You can download Local Send as an EXE, ready to install, or as a zip file and run it as a portable app without installing. Once you run Local Send, it assigns a name and a number to make it easier to identify. You can receive or send a file, folder, text, or paste an item. You can change the settings. There are even some advanced settings. There is a community of users for getting and giving help. And here's what the community looks like. And again, the community. Plus, there's help and information on Discord. Here's the install for an iPad. Here, I'm installing it on my iPad. I go to the Apple Store. Once installed, I have to give the system permission to find and connect to other devices on my network. It will then look for other devices running local send on my network. If needed, I can tell the app to search for other devices by clicking the circular arrows. Local send found the Windows PC with the nickname Neat Mushroom. Here it found the second PC, my laptop, Good Mushroom. You can only send to one device at a time, so you must make a choice. In my example, I'm going to use this file. It's 248 megabytes, and it is an MP4. So let's take a look at how all of this works. Here we have the local send program, and to the right is the phone, and at the bottom is going to be the file that we're going to uh, transfer. So we click on File. We're going to then choose the file that we want to send, which is right here. Tell it to send. We have to choose which device we want to send it to. We're going to send it to the phone or the Samsung phone. Which is over on the right. When we choose it, it then pops up on the phone whether to accept or decline. We accept it and it starts sending. When it finishes, we click Done. And we're going to find that file by going to Files. Can't find it on the so many of the apps, so we just go ahead and do the search for it. We find it. We click on the file that we want. We tell it we want to download it with VLC. There it is. We turn it sideways so we can see more of it and see it more clearly. And as the movie is progressing, there's audio in the background that I cut out for this video. But you'll see that it's going on and continuing the video. Let's send it from our PC to the laptop this time. So we're going to send it. It's going to be a file that we're going to send. We're going to find the file. We're going to click on it, tell it to open it. And it's now there. Now we're going to choose where we're going to send it, which is to the Windows uh, laptop. We're waiting for it to respond, either to accept or decline. It accepts. As soon as it accepts, it starts sending the file. When it's done, you click Done and it is now on that computer. You can find local send at these places. Local send 
I'm Huey Poplock.